All right, and we're gonna follow the stream. Uh, apparently you can drive through it, but you never know when people get in there and I don't have a winch with me, but they'll get in there and make a big hole and then you drive in and you're stuck. And I'm by myself, so if I had a winch, I would drive in and hit the stream up that way. All right, we're gonna see if we can trek through this stuff. That's why I sprayed my feet, and my legs. I don't want uh, ticks or chiggers. But I wanna see if I can yeah, get a picture of this stream. Yeah, this looks like it's not too bad. I got a little scratched up. But we'll see what we get. All right. Uh, if I make it, if not, I may just walk through the water. Uh, Alright, decisions. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, uh, stream is definitely not what I thought it was going to be. pretty closed in. I'm just not seeing anything that, you know, piques my interest. Well, it's a big forest, so let's go find something. I only took uh, uh, one film holder, two sheets of film, so not planning on shooting a whole lot. see what we can find. All right, back to the Jeep and uh, check out another spot. Yeah, these things are amazing. Yeah, you find them everywhere. All right, pick it up and uh, throw it away when we get home. Okay, we're here at the uh, second spot. Uh, see what we can find whether it's uh, a whole scene or just uh, yeah, a little snippet on the ground uh, just gotta walk around see if anything looks good found a little uh, almost stepped on them I'll put you down there box turtle. All right, we'll let him, uh, he's probably searching for some food. Uh, pretty sure I've never seen one out here before, as many times as I've been out in the uh, pine lands. All right. Actually scared me. I went to step and there he was. Uh, wasn't, wasn't expecting it. Let's try this again. Tea berries. Uh, back of the GoPro screen was all messed up. They're very tasty. Uh, <clears throat> you can find uh, tea berry gum sometimes if you want to know what they taste like. You're not around from around here. Uh, good stuff. And again, you may not like it. It's just something I grew up eating. Okay, <clears throat> I think I found something uh, down by my feet. Uh, I'm gonna get as close as I can to it. I'll show you guys uh, what piqued my interest, and uh, then we'll get set up and take a shot. Uh, this may be the only shot. Okay. I just find all the lines. It's got a lot of lines. And right in there, there's a little tree growing. Uh, let's get set up. Uh, these are always fun because the, uh, the lens is way underneath. So uh, I find the easiest way to 
do things to adjust it is uh, take the lens out, set it where you need it, put it back in, or use my phone to uh, and flip the camera and uh, that way you can see what you're doing. Uh, one uh, hazard of large format. You don't have a screen, digital screen on the back to see what, you know, what's going on. Alright, let's get set up. I think I got the composition I want. I'll show you. I'll put you under the hood and show you. Uh, I did use some front tilt to uh, to level out the plane of focus. Uh, one benefit of a large format. Uh, that way, because if it's if it's tilted, you'll be in focus here, out of focus here. And you know, tilt it forward, level it out with your subject, and. Uh, You'll be in focus all the way across. <clears throat> Alright, let's put you under a hood and uh, show you what I was thinking. Okay, I kind of centered him. And I didn't want those leaves to exit the frame. I kind of didn't want that to exit the frame. So I think I got a pretty good balance of this plant here. Those leaves and where that is. All right, let's stop down and uh, take the photo, and I think I'll be done. I will go back to uh, develop and uh, see what comes of it. Two second exposure. Went two and a quarter. Okay, it's a wrap. Uh, let's pack up, head home and uh, check ourselves for ticks because I've already found two on me even though I sprayed All right. so I will see you in the dark room here we are back in the dark room uh, got my beer B&H came early got warm tone developer so we're going to do a warm tone print uh, very interested to see what this does to the paper I know it won't be as much as uh, Oh, I gotta turn off the air conditioner before it makes too much noise. I know it won't be as pronounced as fiber based, but I also got fiber based paper, so we're good to go there too. Uh, for a later date, right now we're gonna use the RC. Also got the 
a five liter jug of more uh, regular developer. Uh, they didn't have any more liters. There's the negative. Looks good. So let's do a test sheet and uh, get to it. Alright, test strips. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Nothing in the highlights. So I went split contrast. I did uh, 35 seconds on uh, contrast zero. And I went 20 seconds on uh, contrast two and a half. And that was looking, the contrast two and a half part looking pretty good. I uh, still needed more in the highlights. Let me move you over a little bit. So I went a minute and a half on contrast zero and stuck with 20 seconds on contrast two and a half, which I'm going to stick with. The blacks are nice and deep right there. The rest of the tunes look pretty good. And you're starting to see the lines that I was explaining uh, right before I took the picture. That's what drew me to it. Uh, they're almost there. So I think I'm going to do a full print. I'm going to go two minutes on contrast zero and stick with the 20 seconds on the uh, on the contrast two and a half. And we'll just see what we get. And you know, if we have to back off the contrast zero a little bit, and that's what we got to do. But I think it may work. So let's give it a shot. There's the print. Uh, that's two minutes, contrast zero, and 20 seconds, contrast two and a half. Uh, we're a little, uh, little bright over there. So I decided to try another one where I burn that section in for 20 seconds. And I don't think it didn't make a difference. Let me zoom you in there. I think it still looks the same as I don't see any more detail in in one or the other. Uh, it was a pretty bright silvery log. Uh, being that it was uh, you know burnt in a fire. So, yeah, is what it is. Yeah, not my best photo. I like the composition. Uh, I tried to keep this level, that crack. Uh, I didn't want this little uh, tree grass, you know, to go past the thing. I didn't want the leaf, you know, to be either low or over there. I got them little leaves in the corner. And I didn't want it, you know, this, I tried to keep this close to center but it's on the top third so that composition works but picture don't really come across it does have plenty of you know the lines I'll zoom out on that yeah all the lines I was talking about what drew me to the picture and you have the little little tree right in there it's starting to grow uh, and then you, you know this is the charred spot or from the you know from the fire 
It was just an interesting piece of wood laying there. Well, that wraps up another one. Uh, getting kind of hard to find. It's such a big forest, but there's not a whole lot of uh, you know interesting things out there. I got a lot of other local woodlands that are uh, more photogenic than uh, state forest. But it was fun wandering around. Legs are all scratched up. Is what it is. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll come up with something for next week, hopefully, uh, and we'll go from there. Hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thanks.